Hey, good morning, fam. Good morning, fam. Welcome back to Davis Monthan Air Force Base near Tucson, Arizona. The current time is 917. The current temperature is 59 degrees. We have expected a high of 67 degrees. Winds are coming out of the northeast at about 5 miles per hour, and there's a 0% chance of precipitation and a 100% chance of love between Peggy and I. So what am I doing in the truck by myself today? Well, I'm not by myself. Got DJ with me. You see him right there, right? Say hi, DJ. <laughs> DJ and I got this morning at about 6.20. And it was 44, 46 degrees outside. We was only outside for like about a minute. Let him do his business. And we both ran back in the RV. He wanted to get back in the RV more than I did. But, uh, yeah, so it, it was chilly. Uh, last night, last night, it got down pretty cold. I got up early in the morning, like at just 2 or 3 in the morning, to turn the little space heater on because Peggy was shivering a little bit in her sleep. But then about three hours later, it was too hot. She asked me to turn it off. I turned it off, so. I know I did my job. We took care of I took care of her. So where am I going this morning? I am heading to the commissary. That's the uh, military base grocery store for y'all who don't know. And Peggy has promised me one of my favorite dishes. I've got so many favorite Peggy dishes. She is going to make shrimp Alfredo with sliced up little sausages in it. Just the way I like it. So she said, well, I still need this and I need that. I said, baby, make a list. <laughs> Got a list right here in my pocket. I'm going in there. I'm going to get everything on the list, bring it back. And I'm going to have me some fettuccine Alfredo. Well, we're not going to use fettuccine pasta. I like the little bow tie pasta. I don't know. They probably all taste the same. But for some reason, the bow tie pasta, I don't know. I fork it with the sausage and the shrimp. Just love it. Mm. Pettuccini has uh, Peggy has this good recipe for uh, Alfredo sauce, and she says I'm just gonna stick with it, make it the way you like it. I'm excited, Fab. Can you tell? Can you tell how happy I am? Cause you know we starting this other plan in there, and I know this is not the healthiest. I I, I know this is not the healthiest meal, fam. I know a, a few of y'all gonna get on me about it, but I've been doing better. I've had no sugar, no candies, no chocolates, no nothing. I've been doing better. But I want a fettuccine Alfredo. I'm a big man. Soon to be a smaller man. And when Peggy asks me what I want, I'm going to tell her what I want. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> That's the cool thing about being on the military base. I'm already here. Comment says right there. I'm gonna pull on in, get the stuff I need, take it home to my bride. And she's gonna make one of my favorite dishes. Life is good. Real good.
Hey fam, I'm back. I'm done, took the cardigan off, because that was harder than I thought. Now I know through the magic of editing, it looked like I was just finding everything, grabbing it up, one, 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 got it, got it, got it, no. Um, two problems in there. One, minced garlic. What aisle is the minced garlic on? I figure it has to be on seasonings. No. Check by the pickles. No. Ask somebody, which is the last resort usually. I asked somebody. They said at the end of the produce aisle. I walked to the end of the produce aisle. Nothing. Keep looking. Ask another person, which never happens. They said, is it the end of the produce aisle? I said, no, I've already been to the end of the produce aisle. It's not there. And then I started walking. And they, right before I got to it, I saw the little island shelf at the end of the produce aisle. <laughs> and sitting right there on top is like various garlics of all international varieties just sitting there waiting to be plucked I thank them and I grab my garlic oh well who would have thought anyway some of y'all probably knew it was going to be there but you know a lot of us guys don't know that speaking of which the second item now, this wasn't a particular item on the list, but Peggy said, if you want some like garlic bread or something, make sure you grab some garlic bread and uh, we'll air fry it up or whatever. And so I went through the frozen food aisle and there was no garlic bread. That's not a big problem. I don't need garlic bread or whatever it is. But I did what a lot of men probably do. I'm wondering if I'm the only one who does it. If Peggy sends me to the store for something and they don't have it, I get a little video shot of the aisle or the section to make sure she know because <laughs> I've come back empty handed before and she'd be like, you just didn't look in the right place probably, but no I, so I get video footage of it video ain't just for YouTube but anyway, got everything I need and got, some, got a little treat for the DJ, so he's back there munching right now and uh, yeah, let's go home and get this stuff done, alright fam Good morning, family. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to come to you this morning with a somber spirit, right? Yesterday in St. Louis, there was another school shooting, a school shooting, right? And y'all know I grew up in St. Louis, lived there for 40 years of my life. I, it has a special place in my heart. But yesterday just bothered me so much because a, a young man broke into a school that he no longer attended. And I'm, I may get some of this information mixed up because they haven't gotten the full, full details out yet. But anyway, I think that when he broke in, he started shooting. And I think a teacher passed away because she had a heart attack. And I think he shot several of the students. But he, the one little girl that he killed, right, was friend of a friend, right? And I'm just like, America as people, as a whole, if we don't come together about anything else in this world, these school shootings have just got to stop. Like, I can't even imagine it. Like, I can't imagine it. When we, when we grew up in school, it just was, this was never heard of. And I worry for my grandchildren like I was re I had to get off Facebook yesterday because I kept seeing my friends trying to find their children that attended that specific school, like their grandchildren, right? They were trying to find their grandchildren. And one, the one that tore at my heartstrings was the one that said they can't find my daughter. And her daughter was the girl that got killed, right? And I'm just like, we... Like, I'm asking everybody to just pray and pray and pray. I don't know what we can do as a unit in America to stop this, but it is just, it tore at me yesterday. So I'm kind of somber about it a little bit. Uh, it's just not sitting well in my spirit. And I almost want to call my son and say, let's homeschool the kids. I'm like, I want to go get my Cameron and just hug her and bring her on the road with me because school is just not safe anymore so you can't go to school you can't go to church you can't go to the grocery store it's like this world is just i'm just saddened by it y'all so my spirits are not as high as they normally are and i'm sure you guys understand but i just wanted to bring that to your attention i just wanted to share what was on my mind with you right
so we're gonna go ahead and get into today's video so I'm just asking for your prayers not only for st. Louis but for everywhere okay all right thank you fam going into this little bit of pasta but this is the way he likes it so that's the way I'm gonna make it okay fam all right <laughs> in here and I'm just gonna put half of this container which is about a, a cup yes yeah, about a cup of heavy whipping cream oh I can't even open it Lord where's the strength So remember when we boiled our pasta in the chicken broth? So I have drained the pasta and my juice is left. So I'm gonna use some of this juice in here to make my base. So at this point, I'm just going to add a little bit of Old Bay seasoning to this. Mm -hmm. Not a lot, maybe a tablespoonful. A nice stir. And then I'm just going to add very little of this. The s'mores chicken bouillon flavor. I'm just going to add a little bit of it as well. Maybe a tea, uh, tablespoonful. Right, and that is our base. So at this point, I'm gonna go in and add my shrimp. And then we're gonna let them cook real quick until they're nice and pink. And see, I would do this like a man. I would just dump the whole thing in. I don't know. You can, it doesn't matter. Oh. Y'all almost forgot to put my black pepper in. Put a little <laughs> black pepper in there. Mm -hmm. We're almost ready. Now, y'all, before I added the shrimp, I should have said, taste your base. But we tasted it after the shrimp were fully cooked, and it is amazing. Amazing. It tastes so good. It's not too salty or anything like that. Because I did not add any salt, but you don't need salt when you're using chicken broth and that Norse chicken uh, broth seasoning. So, anyway. Go ahead and add our sausage back to it. We're gonna let that cook down just a little bit, get all those seasons married and marinated into this sauce, and it's gonna be delicious. 
So we're going to add in some of our pasta. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about when you boil your noodles in the broth, they take on the whole flavor of the broth. So not only is the seasoning in your uh, mixture, your, fet your fettuccine sauce is basically what it is, but it's also in the noodle. So you're going to get a burst of flavor from the juices and from the noodles, right? So it's just a flavorful dish, okay? Let me say one more thing. Now y'all know I sent this man to the store for fettuccine noodles. He come back, <laughs> he come back with both pasta, but it's fine. It tastes the same. Mm -hmm. I already told him I wanted bow tie pasta. I told him that before I even got into the commissary. So I went in with a plan. <laughs> I was planning he to went, be. He went in being disobedient. <laughs> yeah, I was planning to be disobedient. <laughs> <laughs> I wish y'all could smell this. No, I don't. Y'all might, y'all might ask for some. I'm gonna add a little bit of parsley for color and a little bit of flavor. You ain't gonna taste much of this, but I'm just gonna add some. Y'all, look at that sauce. Ooh, baby. <laughs> it's food porn for you. Ooh, baby. Now guys, normally when I make fettuccine and stuff like that, I, I just want you to know that I add peppers, I add the red and the yellow because to me those are sweeter. I add the peppers to it, I add onions, and I also normally add spinach or broccoli, you know, some kind of vegetable. You don't want no parts of it. So I have to make his food just as plain. And I was like, I should make me some and then make him some different. But I have some steamed broccoli bags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to steam me a bag and throw some broccoli with mine. I'm not going to force that on him right now. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> hey, fam, we just, we just had a little discussion a little while ago. Peggy was saying, you see me make this another. You probably make this yourself, right? And I said, absolutely not. There's so much more to cooking than just knowing like a recipe and stuff. Do I add more broth? Do I add less broth as the sauce gets thicker? Because you know how, th how much thick it's going to be over time. You can taste it and add, know whether to add more garlic, add salt, add pepper. Who knows what it is? I can't do that. It does not work for me. Peggy has to do it. No, he can do it. If no. You, you got to apply yourself, Smokey. <laughs> you got to apply yourself, Smokey. <laughs>
But we're going to go ahead and just leave y'all in suspense and let y'all watch the clip. Yes. <laughs> All right, fam, so as we promised, we are doing our uh, canvas paint project. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is too windy outside to do it outside because you get a bunch of debris on the debris on the wet paint. So we decided to bring it inside yeah. where we can do it without interruption. So we're as, gonna... as y'all recall, Piggy made these beautiful stencil canvases these little outlines i guess on her cricket in a previous video yes. i'll put a link in the description to the video but yes. she's got a woman with some uh what do you want to call it hands come hither hands <laughs> and i got a shoe but <laughs> i got a, i got a nice shoe shoe fly yeah something more masculine i wasn't comfortable painting lady lips or anything like that. <laughs> that sounds funny so right now i guess we're just trying to get some paint trying to figure out what paints we want to start off with I'm gonna start off with some baby blue, so I'm gonna mix some blue and white. I'm gonna do the background first. I'm gonna do the whole background of my little painting. Alright, what color you need? Um, I'm gonna need some red, but I don't need it yet. I'm gonna need some red. Just gonna squeeze some red over here. I have no idea how this is gonna go, fam. I don't know how much paint to use, but I feel confident in my artistic ability. Piggy and I have been doing competitions for as long as we've been married. No, before that, we, we played darts at a bar <laughs> while we were dating, and she played series. Okay, moving in. Yep. Poker, pool, races, whatever it is, Piggy's a competitor. And, she, and off she goes. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm an old school man I only wanna fall in love once With an old school girl, old school girl, old school girl. When I know, I'll know Hand in hand like left, right, left, right, oh, 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 oh. Bonnie and Clyde You can have whatever you like When it's you and I Can have the world see us coming like left, right, left, right. All oh. are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Can we get comfortable? I don't really like going out It makes me uncomfortable Comfortable, yeah We could be chilling on the sofa Or cooking in the kitchen like left, right, left, right, oh, oh. Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? When you're touching my body, go When you're touching my body, go I want it yeah, I need it and I'm on it Morning, are you the same? 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 Hey, 
what's up, fam? <laughs> so we have learned the error of our ways. <laughs> A lot of mistakes made here, Do but they? it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. Donald was Donald was like, it's like a coloring book. I say, I know it's a, a paint and sip, right? A yeah. paint and sip. Honestly, I said our uh, five-year-old granddaughter could probably did about the same as I did on this thing. See, Donald was rushing, but no, no, no. This is the mid. This is the uh, uh, halftime show or the three-quarter show or something like that. We just got to do our final touch-ups and everything. We just want to come in and do a little conversation about where we where we where we sit so far. Okay, so where you sit so far? Oh, right now I sit in a big puddle, but <laughs> <laughs> right now my skin looks a little green. I tried to like uh, mix in some yellow and brown and black to try to find the right kind of skin tone, but for some reason yellow and brown make green. And That's because he's not mixing his paint good. You gotta mix it. I have some more really mixing stuff, so I'm gonna I'm yeah. gonna do a little overlay. T- a he's, gonna, stuff. he's gonna fix it. it exactly. It'll be okay. It'll exactly. Be okay. So by the time by the time y'all see this the the finished product, it's gonna be a little better than this. But uh, it is going to be way better. Man. She's being real sweet right now because she knows she's way no. In the lead. I couldn't get my lips right. <laughs> I could not get my lips right for nothing. Because I was like, I'll just paint on some glue and then, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> I should have pulled out my jewels and gave her some bead lips. That's what I should have done. <laughs> it would have like, take, taken longer. Yeah, that might have like the, swords or something. No, it would have just looked like beaded lips. Oh, okay. But this is where we Look are so far. That is That is so cool looking, boy. Her skin is so even. Kind of. But yeah, I like her. Now, I went with the multicolor approach. I figured like mine has such a simple design. I, I should use a whole lot of colors. And now that I look at it, I probably should have used a couple more colors and stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, I started to paint the top part blue and ended up blending in with the background. So I had to add some black to it to make it a darker blue. So right now, if anybody asks, it's a denim cuff. A that's denim cuff? a dark denim cuff. Okay. Because that's kind of what it looked like. So we just want to get back to it, fam, and uh, and we'll see what happens. We'll show you the finished product, <laughs> All and right. then you can judge for yourself how badly I won. How badly you won? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fam. All right, fam. So we have made our. It final... is presentation time. <laughs> it's presentation time. We have made our final adjustments. And um, I made some improvements. Yes, he did. I made some improvements. I'm impressed. Yes, I think I smoothed out the skin a little bit. Let me go ahead and hold it up to you. There we go. So, I have the newest Nike Air Gone with the Winleys. <laughs> the Nike Air GWTWs. Uh, the skin tone is nice and smooth now. You see that? And um, these are presented on some school playground with a blue backdrop. There you go. Let me show it to you again. All right. So that was presentation number one. And then you have presentation number oh. two. Oh. <laughs> I want y'all to get a good look at her. Uh-oh. Here we go. Let me just help him out. There we go. Ooh. So this woman is thinking. Uh-oh. She's a thinking woman. Should I or shouldn't I? Hmm. Will I or won't I? <laughs> oh hell, go ahead. <laughs> That's a living single. <laughs> I don't I recognize that. I know that line. I was trying to make my presentation good. She stole that from me. Don't laugh from living single. I I watched TV. Okay, well look, you I didn't steal this from living single. Go ahead. So I want y'all to write down in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> I like Donald's better because it's more colorful. That I'm was just being I'm honest. For. I'm just being honest. Like I tried to bling out the lips and everything. I'm not gonna tear her down, but I love her. I'm gonna hang her up in the bedroom. Right? Yeah, absolutely. I love her. And I'm gonna hang mine up in the storage bin under the RV. <laughs> No. That way I can always see it every time I want to go out there and get some stuff. Now for Mother's Day, <laughs> for Mother's Day, when I first moved back to St. Louis in 2017, my son bought me a Mother's Day gift. It was a sipping paint, right? She bought it from he bought it for me and my niece. 
right? It's for two people. It's way out in West County. And so when it came time for us to go, Chanel and Renyau. <laughs> Chanel came home from work and went to sleep. I called her like 30 times. She didn't answer the phone. Now, even though she lived around the corner, I just didn't want to bother her because, you know, people have stuff going on. So I looked over to my sweet husband and I said, would you go with me? And he said, absolutely. Well, you know, my plan was to drive her out there in case Chanel wasn't giving her a ride. We were thinking about when Chanel didn't first answer the phone, I was going to drive her out there. Yeah, and I was going to drive back and let her ride back with Chanel. But yeah. since I was driving out there anyway. And Chanel still wasn't answering the phone when we got out there, right? So yeah. I was just like, well, you want to come in? And first we were kind of leery because we wanted to make sure there were other men. In there. Yeah. And it was half men, actually, yeah. with their wives. So it t we didn't know anybody in there, so it was groups here, groups here, groups here. But it was still a lot of fun, Yeah. right? And you could order food and stuff, and you did your painting. But this you had to, like, they they were drawing pictures, Yeah, right? it was a blank canvas. It was a blank canvas, and so the teacher was up front. Well, you guys know, you've been to a sip and paint. So the teacher would draw the picture, and you would just go behind her, so she'll draw a little bit. So the one we drew was like a skirt or something. It was something like, some like kind a of ballerina. Pencil, yeah, pencil like stand a, the model. The bottom half of a ballerina, like yeah. it had her skirt and her legs and stuff like that, right? When I tell you Donald killed that. I did pretty decent on that. He did good. So I wanted to beat him at the <laughs> <laughs> payback, right? Yeah. So, but no, I think we I think we both did. We, we don't even have to. I mean, I know I won, but I would say... <laughs> <laughs> it's, so it's no longer a competition because yeah, she knows she was. I've already called it. I'm She's already playing. called it, fam. Because mine is pretty plain. I didn't do anything in the background or anything. I just feel like if I had put a color in the background, it would have taken away from the picture. I like the way she kept the brush strokes even and, and evenly distributed and stuff like that. So I tried to yeah. copy that after the fact when I did my little touch up on my arm and everything. Because I, I was yeah. using some pretty hard brush strokes with my arm skin tone. But, uh, yeah. That looks very, very nice. I like it. I would not mind that hanging up in our bedroom. We will definitely do this again, but this time I'm going to let Donald pick his yes. person because he would rather have had a Grogu. I wanted Grogu after I thought about I it. I didn't know it, though, so the next time we do it, we'll do a Grogu. We'll do it slightly bigger, and um, yeah. I think it'll be fun. I think exactly. it'll be a lot of fun. Exactly. Because we, while we were sitting here, we were just no TV, no phone calls, no nothing, just relaxing, having a good time, enjoying each other's company. That's what we should be doing That's out exactly here on right. the streets anyway. So anyway, we enjoyed this immensely. Yeah, and I recommend and it. I it would was, recommend it. It's not too expensive. What, the cameras were $5 or something like that? Yeah, so you, got two, yeah the, so you got the two canvases for four ninety nine. I got the paint brushes from the dollar store. So I got two different packs, so they were $1.25 each. Mm -hmm. And the paints, like I say, the six-pack of paints was like $5. Yeah. So... And that paint goes a long way. You put yeah. two drops on your little paper plate. This paint and will can... last us a long time. Oh, yeah. That, that paint is forever, honestly, because my whole blue background is a quarter size amount of paint, of yeah. blue paint. So, yeah. It's, it's not like this. Uh, we could get all of our friends together and have a paint party and still have half of this exactly left Exactly right. Because this paint will last a long time. So it's worth the investment if this is what you choose to do. Yeah. So anyway, like I said, it was a lot of fun. We got to have a conversation, talk about things. Reminisce. Think about Reminisce, times we've yeah. done other stuff together and everything yeah. like that. And that's that's the most important part about the time we spent together. And I discovered that I like Donald. Oh. Just a little bit. Who knew? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but you can get like they have all different color sets I just grabbed a set I wasn't really paying attention you could get orange purple green you know you can get all the other colors too but anyway like I said it was really uh, inexpensive we didn't spend twenty dollars to have exactly a date, a date night it wasn't didn't even, even spend twenty bucks so and yeah, we got enough stuff left over except for canvases do it many more times yeah and you could really get the canvases in bulk if you wanted to mm -hmm. so you could get um, what is it like eight of them for twelve dollars I think it is yeah eight of and this size for like twelve ninety nine I think yeah and so who, that's a good deal and who knows you might find you got a talent that you didn't know you had I know I don't have one but <laughs> like I said this was fun so I've learned how to make the canvases a lot quicker now I know how to just put it down and use my heat press. 
But I should put it, I, I may put it on my big heat press because I have a really uh, commercial size heat press, right? And I feel like if I put this whole canvas on the heat press, it'll just do it in three seconds. Yeah. I won't have to do all the rolling around and stuff like that. So anyway, we appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you for letting us show you what we like to do out in these RV streets. All right, fam. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you in the next video. So we just want to go out there and remind you guys, just like us, got to do something good for yourself. And for others as well. And for others as well, fam. Y'all take it easy. Good night. Good night. Take me your arms. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust. I belong, I belong to you. And I always be around when I need some love and baby And I never let you down Let you down, let you down I'm your song